So when you're looking at how do I prepare, it's like really being able to track your menstrual cycle, like, right. Cause I know some people notice, man, I was every 28 days. Now I'm every 25 and now I've gone down to every 21, you know, being able to see the shift in pattern. If you're not tracking it, you're not going to know. You'll just know that I think they've become shorter. I'm not exactly sure. And when you are preparing, you want to be able to have data, you know, mm. you want to know your body and know what's happening inside your body. So that's the one thing is gonna, I, I would say is start track t- tracking your menstrual, you know, changes. And it's not just the cycle length. It's also going to be the amount of bleeding you have and be able to quantify it. Because a lot of times, if you talk to a doctor, um, you, they're going to want to know, okay, your periods are heavy. Okay. What does that mean? You know, right. because heavy is relative to different people. And, you know, I see it all the time. Somebody says they have heavy periods, but they're only using three pads or three tampons a day, whereas somebody's changing them every hour. So really have quantifiable data about how heavy your periods are, because that will also help your practitioner. And then I think it's important to track your symptoms. You need to know what the symptoms are to be able to track them. And then again, this is really helpful when it comes to discussing with this with practitioner. So, you know, self-assessment is important. I think it's important to know your family history to identify risk factors for chronic disease, because this is going to have an impact, right, on what options, when to start. Those are going to be really important things to discuss.